Alright you guys, I'm trying to do a gaming video or a update of the command center and I need some better lighting. Need a taller tripod for these new camera lights I got. Got the little gorilla pod, but I need one up here facing down. So I'm just gonna get this done after all these years finally deciding it's time to do that. I still have some of these rope LEDs or strip LEDs left over from my last upgraded fluorescent to light which is behind me here got the warm whites and the bright whites or plain whites I forget what these are called but they're kinda of your standard LED a little bluish and this does not work anymore something uh... I think these electronics got fried with the original RV converter, which is putting out around 18 volts. There's something wrong with it. Okay, in order to get these electronics out, we've got to drill out these rivets from the back. Using a drill bit that's a little bit bigger than the hole that's on the back of these. This is a uh, 11 64ths. Alright, with the electronics out, you're just left with the shell. Take out all these other little spacers, shims. Make sure to leave the switch. Okay, next step, let's uh, cut some strips the length we want them. So we got some of the whites. So yeah, I'll stagger these, figure out some kind of pattern. Either way, we'll you just cut this. Cut it at its uh, whatever's closest to your measurement here at this point. These two. Uh... Cutaway and solder points. And you can use this first strip to cut the rest of them. Let's see what that looks like. Are what I think they are. The warm whites. That should be the blue. Yep. All right, for the bright whites and to the warm whites. You solder on some leads and wire them all together.
We got some 20 gauge wire here. Side of that under the light. Trying to get that much flux on there, gee. Okay, now to give them a quick test and pick out the uh, two warm whites since I got them all mixed up.
Okay, so now I just gotta lay out the strips. Gonna clean things up with some rubbing alcohol, get all the oils, anything from my hands, or nastiness off of the surface here. That'll keep the uh, sticky side of the LED strips from sticking. Start by putting the <clears throat> four of the bright whites at the edges here. I'm going to try and uh, work my way from the outside in. Try and find a common point to make these somewhat even between these screw holes. Looks like the best spot to try and keep an eye on. Let's get that side started. I'm going to pull it a little tight. Lay it down. It's probably the favorite part of doing this, just sticking them on. Putting pressure in between the LEDs. Best I can. All right, first one. Alright, there we go. All finished. Looking pretty good. So you know, wire things up, wire on the switch. Let's wire it up and give it a test. Alright, let's get a test here. Oh yeah. That's working. Okay, that's just about all done. Just need to screw it back in and wire it up.
Nice. That looks actually pretty good. Let's put that lens on now. I'll diffuse that a little bit. Awesome, finally got that done. It's kind of hard to tell on this camera, but there is a. I'm going to grab my sunglasses to show you what that looks like, but it's a, a little bit more orange than that one. Turn off this uh, camera light here. Oh, it's so nice. This area's lighted up. Lit up so much better now. Let's get these sunglasses on so you can see what that looks like. There it goes, kind of. You can see the warm whites there in the center strip a little bit. Which is a lot. There's a lot more uh, warmth to it than that one, for sure. Alright, only a few lights left to switch over. It's got the stove, some of the marker lights on the outside of the RV, the clearance lights, taillights, turn signals. Pretty soon we'll have this whole thing converted to LED. It'll be nice. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.